I'm going to do a quick video for you today to show you how to upload media to your WordPress website. The advantage of having the media saved on your WordPress website actually has a couple different purposes. Probably the most useful of them is that whatever file you upload, whether it's a picture or a PDF file or something of that nature, your file will always have its own unique URL. And that comes in handy when you're doing an Aweber newsletter or something of that effect where having a URL is better than actually attaching the actual file. So that's one reason why it's really handy. And the other reason why it's nice is if for some reason at some point you do s decide to maybe change computers or God forbid you have to wipe your hard drive or something, your files as they are on your website are still there and they're still intact. Um, if for some reason a photo or a um, file that you have on your website, if you're adding it from your computer versus your website and your hard drive crashes or something, all of those files and any pages and posts that you've referenced them on have disappeared and they're not available for your website traffic. So most safe, um, easiest method is to always make sure you upload your media to your WordPress dashboard. So to do that, you are going to, from your WordPress dashboard, you're going to come here to media. And first, before I show you how to upload, I'm going to actually show you library um, because that's where you need to go at a later point if you need to grab the URL for a specific document. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go visit the media library. And you'll see here the um, current documents that are saved on this particular website. Um, and if you click on edit, once they are in your media library, here is your URL. And this is unique, it's specific, and this is the link you'd use, for example, in a newsletter or something if you wanted to direct people to possibly download, in this case, a PDF. So that's how you get to the document and the URL. And I'm going to show you how to add a new piece of media. So new piece of media, um, I'm going to do two things here. I'm going to select a PDF and I'm also going to select a photo. So I'm going to go ahead and click Select Files. And I'm just going to choose a random PDF. And I'm also going to grab a random photo. So I'm going to upload both of those. While the picture's taking a moment to upload. There we go. So here I have um, a PDF that I've just added to my web server and then also a picture. If you are to click on the show button, what it's going to do, it will, again, it will show you your file URL. You can change the name here to anything that you'd like whatsoever. And then same thing here on the photo. Do whatever you want. Um, if you actually will cover alternate text in another WordPress video, I'm going to skip this for now. And anytime you put anything new into your media library, just remember at the very end, select Save All Changes so that everything's saved in your library. And in just a moment here, now you see our media library has been updated with the new form that I've added, the PDF, as well as the new photo. That is how easy it is to add things to your library. And if at some point you decide, oh, you don't want it anymore, um, and you know you don't have it attached to any posts or pages, feel free by all means to delete the file out. Just when it's gone, it's gone, as well as any references to it within your website. And that's how easy it is.